Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you some really quick tips on how to get nice round feet. One of the biggest issues why we don't get nice round feet is actually from the pads. Um, it is really important to be able to brush up the pads. You can see this dog kind of has its pads done, but if I brush up, you can see the hair in between the middle of some of these toes. That's what gets in the way of your nice round foot. So always brush up and take your 40 blade and get in there and make sure that your pads are edged. And I'll just double check. Again, brushing up. You can see there still is a couple of hairs that are coming in. These are the hairs you can't get with your shears in that round foot. Make sure it's nice and clean. For your round foot, we will train to box that foot in. Now, you don't have a whole lot of, of um, control over the front of the foot because you're going to run into the nails. So I have my curves. My curves are kind of kind of curve into that foot. You're going to do the first trim straight across. I can actually feel the tip of those nails. And this is kind of setting it in. This dog is going to get a scissored leg. So I'm going to want to leave this foot more in a teacup look. You're still going to be tight at the pads. So I'm going to hold my shears. I'm going to decide I'm going to always go from the back because I want to feel that pad. If I do it the opposite way, and I'm going to go from the front back, you are more apt to get almost like an arrowhead foot. So always come from the back. I'm going to set my shears down. If I want a bigger foot, again, I'm going to go close to that pad, but I'm going to angle my shears out and set that. Turn my curves around. Combing it out. Doing the same thing on the inside. And then in the back. So I have my guidelines and all I'll have to do is kind of tip around. Now, you'll see a lot of groomers that will pick up this foot and round that foot and you're like, oh gosh, that's so easy. I'm gonna pick up that foot. Well, when we're training students here, we always train them to have the foot, their foot on the ground first. As you guys know, it's very easy to take your shears and kind of rake over those pads, um, causing um, the pad to be cut. So. Um, we always teach them foot down first when you start to understand that that risk of cutting the pad is there. Um, then you'll see you'll be able to pick that foot up. Again, I did my guidelines. Trimming off my edges and I got a nice round foot. My last kind of step is to kind of pick up that hair and just soften that edge. Until it's nice and round. My pad, and then I'm gonna brush that up and I'm gonna brush those stray hairs in the middle of the pads and trim those off. Those are the ones that you're gonna see if you see the dog in a couple weeks and all of a sudden you see sprigs of hair sticking out of your nice round foot. Most of the time they're coming from in between the toes. Brush up. Do yourself a favor. Start edging around those pads. That's going to set you up for a nice round foot. Little half moon shape right at the back of that pad. They're nice and clean. Again, I'm going to do the front, set the front in first. My shears are nice and straight. I can feel that nail in the bottom of my shears. And my first cut is straight across. Coming from the back, angling my shear, depending on how much hair I want on this leg. If it's a shorter leg, I'm going to go up, straight up and down. But this one's going to get a bit of a scissored leg. And I'm going to trim my next. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get into the inside, so one of my tricks is to pick up this opposite leg, comb it down, make sure that your curve is going around 
that foot and trim your line. You should never have any hair hanging over that pad. So all of that is trimmed. And then I'll just clean up my lines. Take off my hard edges. And my last step is I'll kind of comb it up and take off the hard edge on the top. And you've got a nice rounded foot.